Pikes Peak, also known as America's Mountain, is an iconic landmark in America's history. The 14,115-foot mountain has a history dating back to November 1806, when Lieutenant Zebulon Pikes first saw the, quote, Great White Mountain. Its history includes not only the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, but also the Bloomer Girl, Julia Archibald Holmes, the inspiration for Catherine Lee Bates' infamous America the Beautiful, and is home to the world's highest cog railway. So let's talk about this train. How many do you have, and how often do you transport people up? So we run eight trains a day, starting at 8 a.m. and ending at 5.20 p.m. every hour and 20 minutes. Um, we have four big trains and four small trains, so a total of eight that run. It doesn't take you long to realize the minute you get up here that a lot of people ride these trains. Yeah. How many people do you have that come through here? What are they wanting to experience? Um, so our big trains fit 214 passengers. The smaller units fit 78. When we run both together, we could run 292 people per trip. And then last year, we actually had over 300,000 people Woo. ride on the trains, up the mountain, just down the trains. And then they, they come from all over. We have a lot of locals. I, I ran into a local today. I've been here 16 years, and I've never gone. So we get a lot of those. <laughs> Um, we get a lot of people from Texas and Kansas, um, and then the Europeans come as well. We're seeing a lot of Asian tourists come in as well. So. And so they oh, want to cool. ride the train yeah. as well. Oh yeah. It's a popular destination for people. It's a, it's a popular thing to do, and even locals that want to do it. So mm -hmm. why is it such an attractive thing to do? Um, because we're on a Colorado 14er. Pikes Peak is on the front range, so it's right there as soon as everybody comes into town. They could either drive up the highway and deal with those harrowing turns, or they could come on a relaxing trip on the COG. We're also the highest COG in the world, and we're one of two in the U.S., so it's kind of that unique quality, and then getting to the top of America's mountain and learning about it along the way as well. What do you guys try to share when it comes to history about this area? Um, so we have a conductor on each train that gives the tour. They share the history of Manitou Springs. There's various places on the mountain that they like to talk about. We talk about the flora and fauna. There's different sites that we like to point out. And we also just give the history of the mountain, like Zebulon Pike. And we try and give some information about the trains as well because they are so unique. A lot of people want to learn about that. So we try to cover all our bases if we can. How long have you guys been doing this? Um, since 1891, so June 30th was our 126th birthday. Yeah. What happens in the wintertime? In the wintertime, we can't always make it to the top. January and February, we actually just shut down going to the top completely. We mm -hmm. go 11,500 feet, which is just above Timberline. We, we do try and give everybody those views they come here for. The train travels through forests, canyons, tree line, and waterfalls. At certain points along the way, you are able to see from New Mexico to Kansas. On a clear day, passengers can see five states from the top of the mountain. So in the fall, it must be another pretty busy time for you, right? Um, around Labor Day, yes. And then again, towards the end of September, beginning of October, we go through a massive aspen grove. So a lot of people come out here to see the leaves changing because you're right there in it. You've got the mountain right behind you. It's, it's a pretty cool shot. Um, but it, and it's a nice relaxing trip too. There's no arguing the beauty of Pikes Peak. This trek up here is absolutely magnificent. However, when you come up here, you should also remember there are some regular weather patterns, especially in the afternoons. So while you may start out sunny and warm, it can easily cool off and you get dark clouds, so beware. The weather is very different at the top of the mountain than it is at the bottom of the mountain. In the summertime, almost every afternoon we get thunderstorms. And accompanying these thunderstorms, of course, is lightning. Mm -hmm. And when you're above tree line, lightning can be quite dangerous. So we do recommend people to come earlier in the day, especially if you're on a motorcycle, when it's summertime on Pikes Peak. It was a day back in 1893 after visiting Pikes Peak that Catherine Lee Bates decided to write the words to the song, America the Beautiful. And after being up here even today, you can see why this view inspired such a song. <laughs>